Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Here we are in the mine and if you haven't seen my previous video with the massive rat haul truck, I recommend you check it out. I show some of the intricacies of the build. But in this video, we're going to talk about the fix that I was able to accomplish with the help of a lot of people who were commenting and ultimately Pingu, who's one of the moderators on my Discord server, kind of gave me information on how to XML mod the wheels such that it is now handling perfectly and properly for a vehicle this size. Now, in the previous video, I did show you pretty much this, that the wheels on this massive truck just spin like crazy and this thing has a very, very hard time climbing anything pretty much and it just slips and slides. So that was in the previous video, but you could see here, even when I park, park it, it's still sort of sliding down the hill here. So that's with park engaged. Now that should not be happening. It shouldn't be moving. Of course, yes, the um, developers, they can go and make a proper fix, but ultimately they did leave the, the game open for us to perform our own fix and take a look at this. Look at how this handles. I could even come to a full stop and still keep going. And the wheels don't slide like crazy. It just makes its way up the hill. It turns on a dime, all that good stuff. So how did I accomplish this? Well, I used XML modding. Now I do have kind of a history with XML modding in a sense that I tend not to use it. But here's the thing, I tend to avoid it for visual purposes. Because yes, one could go and hide all their microcontrollers, one can find ways to use XML modding to make it, make their vehicles look better, you know, the windows can all be one piece rather than the pre-made ones, but I kind of make it work with that. But where I do use XML modding is where the game has severe limitations and where there's just no other way. And an example of that are these, which are pretty much the anti-mass uh, blocks, they're XML modded for mass. So if I type this in, negative mass gravity, and if I spawn it, pretty much they fly right up because they have negative mass. Now there are ways that I use that, and like I said in the case of the lander vessel, the sea lander and all this, it is pretty heavy, like look at that, 18,000 whatever units of mass. But what happens is if you try to load up vehicles, it'll sink. So I had to make it fairly light. Now it was a balancing act to make it light enough that it can support vehicles, but also not too light such that if their fuel tank is empty, the thing flies up into the air. So I hope I balanced it quite right. Now back to the haul truck. Well, like I said, I have a couple versions of it, including the one where the wheels will spin like crazy. Now, if we go here and set the grip to hundred or whatever, you'll always get that exact same type of reaction where the wheels will just spin. Um, funny enough, I mean, it's a fairly simple fix for the developers because I just did it in about two minutes with the XML modding, but I'll show you how to do it here for your vehicles because I saw a lot of people saying things like, you know, they stopped playing Stormworks because of this um, limitation, which is unfortunate because the game is awesome. But you can see here, grip is 100%. However, it's not actually 100% because I XML modded it. And I'll show you that in a second. But just for comparison purposes, if we hop in here, you can see that it drives and brakes and steers without like spinning the wheels all the time. So this is pretty good. And this is even using the same engine and the same gear ratio. So I'm quite happy to leave this as it is. How did I do it? Well, first things first. Like I showed in this example, I went and set all the grips to 99. Now, the reason for that is to be able to find it easily in the XML file. So all the grips on all four wheels are set to 99. Then we got to go into our computer. If you're using a PC, you got to go to app data, roaming and Stormworks. So save this, shortcut this, whatever. And inside that, you'll want to go into data, vehicles, and here you'll find a list of all your vehicles. And 
the file that you're looking for, of course, is the XML file. Now, the PNG is just a photo, and usually that's the photo that the vehicle kind of shows up in your uh, list of um, files or list of vehicles. But the XML file is what we're interested in. So in this case, we can find our rat hall 800. That is the file that we're interested in. And if you right click on it or whatever, you can edit in notepad. Now it opens up like a bunch of gibberish, but if we control F and search that 99, there you go. So it says grip factor, not 0.99. So what I've done is simply added nine to this, thus making it almost 10. So 9.99. Find the next one right here. 9.99. Find the next one. 9.99 and find the next one lastly right here. Done. That's it. We changed the four wheels. In this case, we had four wheels. Obviously, if you have six, you'll have to change it six times. And then you can save this file. So control S or file save. Doesn't matter. But regardless, now this version has been updated. Going back here, you see that the date is now current. So that is the latest file that has been changed. And now we can hop back into Stormworks and see if it took took the change. Okay, so here in Stormworks, the haul truck, it says the current time. We load it up, we go to the wheel, and again, like I said, now you're going to show grip of 100. But if we spawn it in the game and make our way into the cockpit here, start it up. You can see that it's the old-fashioned one because of the red. The latest one actually changed to yellow, but even with the old-fashioned red one, you could see that it is driving and handling much better. Now, there are still some uh, kind of skid clouds that you see, so the thing is still kind of skidding around, but you know what? For a vehicle this size, I will take this handling. So I will say that this is now appropriate for pretty much what I expect this vehicle to behave like. Sure, yeah, it storm works. We can get some you know, um, skidding around, especially because I want to keep this vehicle fast enough. You can see here we're kind of hitting 70 kilometers an hour, which is pretty good for a vehicle this size. I don't want it to be limited to like 10 or 20 kilometers an hour. I want it to still be useful and still be able to transport you and drive you around without actually, um, you know, so I want to make it work without ruining the functionality of it. But well, let's see if we can climb up this hill now. So if we make our way to the hill. All right. We do have performance mode we could turn on to give the engine a little bit more boost, but there you have it. So it's able to actually drive around and behave as expected. I've seen these things drive around mine sites. They do scale pretty large um, dirt roads. And that's kind of just the nature. They go through haul roads and transport their minerals. So there you have it. Now it's working. That was an empty hopper. I did test it with a full hopper. And both instances were able to perform perfectly. So hopefully this helps you for your um, XML modding for your large wheeled vehicles. Uh, for me, it definitely did. I'm quite happy to release this creation now. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more creations. And as always... Happy Stormworksing, everyone. See you next time.